Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Let's Play Civilization Challenge, episode 22, I believe. Last episode, we finally finished the uh, early industrial age, so now we're in the late industrial age. Our current restrictions is mine, mines now have to have um, shoring to shore them up every five blocks. Um, I can't build reactors and I can't build any AE machines beyond the grindstone. So, the original challenge, you weren't allowed at all to mine underground. I wanted to discourage it, but not make, not make it impossible for various reasons. So, but, uh, so next what we're going to do here is go through the request what we have to do to get to the nuclear nu nuclear age can't talk tonight so we have to upgrade our high school again to a university which means we need to add a library a lecture hall a research lab with a microscope and a sporting arena we need to build a skyscraper and make a penthouse at the top with a working elevator a government center with at least three offices and one meeting room at least one macerator or similar machine to your added to our foundry. We already have that. A power station with at least one power storage device and generator producing at least 400 RF. Um, that's going to be our power building there. A factory with at least one extractor, one compressor, and one canning machine or equivalent. A research station far away from city. Put it in an interesting place like the ocean or a mountain or something like that. At least one quarry. Uh, replace torches with other light sources in town and buildings. Can still use torches in mine and wilderness. I create a system of pipes to send all my goods to a central warehouse. We already sort of have that. Build an oil well and a refinery. Build a grocery store with at least 12 different raw ingredients using either a trader or auto filling shells. Build a restaurant with at least two dozen different prepared food items using, a, again, a trader or auto-filling shelves. Add a sink, refrigerant, and stove to the kitchen at our house. Add a bathroom to our house. Build an airport and at least one plane. Build a car, jeep, or truck. And build a quarry or other technological miner. I guess that one's sort of in there twice. I need to correct that. So first thing we're going to do is to do anything, we're going to need a little power. So we're going to work on getting some power going. And let me take a drink here. My throat's a little sore, so I will occasionally be pausing to take drinks. And I apologize. I don't normally do that, but uh, it's been so far between episodes, I wanted to be sure to get another episode out for you guys. So... I basically built a building here with a basement do, do, do. and under my roads I basically started building tunnels to make it easy to get to my pipes and stuff like here and here you can see fish that have come in from the uh, um, port via my train system okay do, do, do. And I got little things going to each little building. Let's go ahead and get out here. Do, 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 do. Okay, that'll make it easier to run power cables to the various buildings and all that sort of stuff. So, And my train track runs right next to the back of this building. I didn't plan that very well. But such is life. And I'm going to have to get more automated charcoal system going. But that will be easier once I get uh, some of my other stuff. Let's go grab Let's go grab a stack of wood. Do, 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 do. Wood, 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 wood. Wood, wood, wood. Let's grab three stacks of wood. And run here. Doop. 
Doom. Doom. I haven't been stacking, stocking these for a while. Throw it in here so we can our steel production continues, and then the rest of it we'll throw in here. And let's clear the rest of the junk out. Get rid of that and that and that, and throw that in there. Throw that in there. Actually, these go someplace else. Hmm, apparently I don't have a sorting thing for potatoes. Or it's full. Uh, let's see, no I don't have potatoes. So let's go ahead and add potatoes to our sorting system. Potatoes. Do to do. And we'll go throw this stuff in here. Doop, doop, doop. And we'll throw this miscellaneous armor in here. Oh, that's right. I can use ender pearls now. Yay. So let's get our ender lily seeds. And then we need some obsidian and an ender pearl. I think I actually have one or two ender pearls somewhere. Because I haven't been. Yep. I have nine of them. Okay. So I need three obsidian, or four obsidian. One, two, three, four. I'd just been waiting till I got to the point that I could use ender pearls. Yeah, apparently I didn't put. I was making rough uh, brownstone. And we might as well get out. The, I think there's a few nuggets of iron in there too we can get rid of. Okay. So I'll put you there. Throw you in there, and we throw you in there. In a little while, we should have our end stone. Okay, power. I was working in power. There's lots of ways to generate power, and I will probably use different sources. But the only easy one I have now is basically coal. Whoops. Steam. Steam, steam, steam. That's not what I wanted. Steam. And I may have to... The camping mod put in a new configuration, and I don't know that it's familiar. It's... I don't know that it's compatible with Galacticraft. So I'm going to turn it off for now and use the button to get back and forth. So I guess I fixed that problem by actually thinking about it. Uh, and I forgot what I came in here for. Oh yeah, I was looking at Steam. So let's see, we can use Steam Engines which really need a boiler. We can use a steam dynamo, which is probably what I'm going to start with. Yeah, let's start with a steam dynamo. So 
means we're going to start work at that stuff. So let's make a new. Let's go over here to our foundry. We need to build an actual factory soon. And build another work table. Work. Table. Whoops. So to build a work table, we need a book. Okay. So we need a book. Your chest and a crafting table and a book. Do I have any more books? Doesn't look like it. So we need paper. Do I have any paper? 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 No paper. Okay, let's go get some uh, reeds to get paper. I know I have reeds in here somewhere. There you are. And leather. We should get some leather. We'll make... Ah, let me out. We'll get some leather. I think I have leather in here, don't I? Yep. Oh, I have lots of leather. Ooh, I can't say the word now. Leather. Oh, I had paper sitting right there, didn't I? Silly me. Paper all that time. Okay, that gives us another of our work benches. Okay, so. I'm going to need, do I have iron in here? Yep. I'm going to need a bucket. Actually, let's make a couple buckets. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to build is one our old friend, the Oculus Accumulator. So for that, we need some of this, some of that, some of those. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and move this over here. Oh, and let's move some of the iron. And we'll move Mr. Piston. We're going to need two gears, and let's go ahead and lock gears in. We're going to need a, serv a pneumatic servo, so we're going to need glass and redstone. Redstone. Glass. Okay. So, servo, and we'll lock that in, and we're going to need a basic machine case, which is going to require a tin gear, so we need tin, tin, And I know I can make the other gears, which were probably more work, but a little bit uh, cheaper. 
Okay, so that gives us our tin gear. Glass, okay. Let's go ahead and make one of these. Lock that in. Put our bucket there. Is that everything I need? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Okay, hopefully that locked in the correct recipe. Okay, so that's the Oculus Accumulator. Next we need the actual steam engine. Do, 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 or steam dynamo, I guess. So we're going to need one of those. So I need silver. We silver. Ah. Silver. Go ahead and lock that one in too. Now I think we have everything we need for our steam dynamo. Oops, if I need the gears. And we'll lock that one in. Okay, now we need some ducks. I think I still have some left over. And are you in here? Nope, that's Bill Crab. So item ducks. I don't need item ducks. I need fluid ducks. Then I need two things of water. Okay, so first of all, get our accuracy accumulator down there. put these here, here, and here. And I didn't bring the steam dynamo. How could I not bring the steam dynamo? Okay, and then we need some charcoal. Okay, and that will start filling up with power. Now we need to build a couple more other things. Do, 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 do. Let's 
So, conduit. Or do I want to use thermals ducts? Warp item, those are items. Leadstone. Leadstone will handle 200. Harden will handle 800. So to make that, we need lead. Of course we do. Lead. Your lead. Lead. So, lead, lead. Leadstone. Okay, so we gotta put the right type of lead in there. And plain glass. And to make the hardened version of this, we take one in var and okay. Uh, I think I have some in var. Now I can make some up. Let's see, where would I be if I was in var? Not there. Al alamite, steel. Graphite. Electrum. Aluminum. Bronze. Invar. Yay. We'll grab it all for now. Okay, that gives us that. So next, we want a leadstone energy cell. So to make one of those, we need one of these first, which means we need one of these. Okay, we made that. To do to and this one's now full, but we'll worry about that later. So, next thing I need is one of these means I need a piece of electrum. Electrum. Okay. And I was making one of these, right? Okay, then we want to make that hardened. Okay. 
And then we'll need our wrench. So I'm going to put this right here. And there's reasons for that later. At least I think there are. Okay. And that's filling up. And this duck can handle 800. That can handle 800. Unfortunately, this does not produce 800, only produces 80. But that will let me, that will get me good to go for the first. Uh, I need to get 400 production, which means I need four more of those. Okay, so now that I got basic power, I need to figure out how to get it over. Okay, eight, eight, eight. Okay. So we'll run power over this way to it. So I will do that off camera. You've already, I'm going to go ahead and craft some stuff. A bunch more pipe and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got stuff basically set up. Oh, it's a blood moon. Good thing I'm safe in my walls. My door just glitched out. Okay. Okay, then what we're going to do is break these. Then we're going to shift click this. And we're going to put this guy down right here. Configure so power goes out the top, comes in the bottom. And dirt. Dirt. And this is our floor stuff. Okay, and I think I have some of that in my blocks chest, I think. I think it's that stuff. No, it's not that stuff. That's the floor. To do to do. I think it's this stuff. Ah. Voila. So now this stuff should be powered. And 
and it should stay powered up. Yep. And that should stay powered up, and that should stay powered up. Yay! And let's go ahead and get our survival generators. Just go ahead. set three of them up like that and we'll put one there they should start transferring all their power in the here and they can be like my emergency backup power stuff I just didn't want to waste all the power okay and I think we're at that wrapping up point we got the start of our power system done going so we now have a system of power I will build some more power some more steam dynamos off camera because I need to build five more four more and then we'll have our 400 power that we need Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll build five more. I think. And take our hardened fluid spike. And we're all ready to add the steam dynamos. So if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leaving me a dislike's fine. But please leave a comment saying why you disliked the episode. As always, this is Fighting1958, and have fun Minecrafting, and creatures are inside my walls. That shouldn't happen. Well, have fun.